Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So I've shuffled the cards and I've laid them out. It's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. So let's begin. Now, the first message that I have for you is focused on your energy and it's talking about treasuring your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. So this card specifically is mentioning that during this period of time, you know, you really should be grateful for those individuals that have a deep love for you and those that truly care about you. Because so often in the world, you know, you'll have individuals that, um, you know, they're false or they are not authentic, not real, okay? And I feel like there's an attachment of expectation in some individuals where, you know, they expect certain things of you in order to, you know, give you some sort of, you know, love that uh, is not truly, you know, real, okay? So I feel like value the people that uh, do offer you a true and a real love, okay? Now, the card that is focused on the energy of the individual you're dealing with, this could be the person that you're dating, the person that you're married to, it could be the individual that you, you know, you've broken up with. It could even be the person that you've just met. This message is telling that individual to listen with their heart, okay? It's important to listen, but you have to hear with a loving heart. Sometimes people, they only hear what they want to hear, you know, and uh, they'll discard everything else, they'll cherry pick. A certain conversation and uh, not really focus on the true message which is coming from the heart okay now let's start your tarot card reading the first energy that I'm looking at is indicating happiness it's indicating joy celebrations things of that nature so in your relationship you have something okay with a certain person and it might have been that you met an individual or you got married to an individual or had a relationship with an individual and it had a very you know strong foundation and this particular card is talking about being happy about something feeling a sense of satisfaction feeling like you want to get up you want to celebrate life with this individual but then we have another card which is indicating that things are not changing in this relationship and it might be necessary for these changes to occur. For some of you, this can be interpreted in another light. It might be that there was this beautiful union between you and another individual, and it came to an end. And that's standing in your way of having, you know, that beautiful relationship that you deserve and desire in your heart. So let's find out more. I feel that some of you are dealing with a relationship that is going through a process of change and transformation. Okay, if you've broken up with somebody, if you're married to somebody, if you're in a relationship with a specific person, I feel like the relationship has a very strong foundation. But I also feel like there's a desire to, you know, go above and beyond the conflict, the drama, the difficulties that the two of you have been dealing with. And the cards are indicating here that, you know, the two of you have to be patient with one another because there might be certain arguments or conflicts that arise in your day-to-day -day life with this person. You know, the two of you might not agree on certain things in terms of the relationship or, you know, the fundamentals of your beliefs and their beliefs coming together. But it's necessary in this situation to understand that, you know, things are going to change rapidly in terms of communication, okay? I'm seeing a very big change that is going to be happening. I'm seeing that, you know, you're ready for this change. I'm also seeing that the individual you're dealing with is also ready for this change. And it's a matter of acceptance. It's a matter of understanding that in order to have that happiness or that beautiful marriage that you want, 
you have to really, you know, look at where the other individual is coming from and, uh, you know, have the sort of perspective of compromise and compassion towards the other individual. So if there's any difficulties, if there's any challenges, know that with patience as well as with, um, you know, inner strength, you can achieve quite a lot between the two of you, okay? So I'm seeing a resolution of conflict between you and your significant other, whomever you are dealing with. Now let's look at the changes that are necessary. from these cards right there's actually a lot of happiness coming for you in this situation if you were feeling a sense of sadness or emptiness regret remorse over what was happening in your current relationship with the person you're dealing with right now I feel like you know you have to make plans for the future you have to really analyze the situation from a place of holding the world in your hands and understanding that yes this relationship is important to you and you want to maintain it okay i feel like for a lot of you you're going to be able to see what is real and what is false if you're dealing with more than one individual you're going to be able to ascertain which is the right individual for yourself and who you want to really spend your life with okay i feel from the cards that you're going to be you know choosing someone that's more solid more stable more reliable someone that is not a liar not a cheater someone that's not somebody that uh, you know promises something and then pulls away out of it because you know those are the people that you don't want to associate with ever I feel like you're gonna have to have the strength from within to know when someone is telling you nonsense and when someone is being authentic in their actions and their words and it's matching up so the key lesson for today is to know that you know you know in your heart what your intuition is telling you you know when it comes to a person in particular if you have more than one choice you know which individual is the one that will actually back it up now some individuals will promise you the world but they can't back it up okay these are the spineless type of individuals they don't have any sort of substance they don't have any sort of inner strength so if you are an Aries female it's important to you know be very discerning during this period of time because you have a choice you have a path here and one is going to lead you towards a lot of happiness and a lot of joy and it's going to be up to you in terms of what you decide to choose in your life in your love life especially so let's see if you've been dealing with someone that's manipulative, someone that's a liar, someone that's a deceiver, someone that can't be trusted, okay, I feel like you have to eliminate this individual. It's the only way that you can move forward. You have to think about your life. Now, if you're dealing with a, you know, a person who's a bit of a shy star, I feel like, you know, get rid of that individual because, you know, I see from the cards that there's a lot of happiness coming in your life. As we can see from this particular card, you could have somebody right under your nose who's there willing to offer you the happiness you deserve. The person that is, you know, actually wanting to spend their life with you, wanting to build their life with you, you know. You have to ask yourself, what is this individual really offering you in terms of your love life? Do they want, you know, something temporary or do they want something that has a solid foundation, which you need as a fire sign you know you need somebody that can balance you out and give you the happiness that uh, you deserve and desire because as i can see here you know in the past you were being very patient with a particular individual and i see the energy moving towards you and this person building up something solid and to build something up solid requires an investment of time and energy there's no room for lies there's no room for betrayals there's no room for a cheater there's no room for a weak individual especially in your life you know even if you are a guy if you know a male aries individual you also will require someone that can match your strength okay i feel like settling for anything less than that is selling yourself short and that's not what you want to do at this junction in your life so i do see that you're dealing with someone that sees you as an attractive person 
they need a bit more of your love during this period of time. Now, this person is the type of individual that will be there with you to meet you halfway, to work things out and to ensure that, you know, you are safe, you're comfortable, you are taken care of. This is the type of person that would, you know, hold your hair up if you are sick and vomiting. So I feel like choose the person that is going to truly honor you and stick with you because I feel like Aries individuals are incredibly ambitious and they need somebody on the same wavelength with them to support them. So these cards here are indicating that don't be stressed out about the future, okay? Because you are moving in the direction of having a lot of happiness. I'm seeing here, you know, there's a lot of joy coming in your life. And the person you're dealing with, the one that is truly authentic, want to spend the rest of their life with you. So I hope you enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.